Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to compare and contrast data flows and shared data sets in Power BI. So this is a question we get occasionally uh, with the release of data flows and now that we can share Power BI data sets across reports. What are the differences between them? When should I use a data flow? When should I use a data set? And so I want to talk a little bit about that today. So I want to do a review of how data flows and data sets are the same or things that they have in common. So they're both based on Power Query. Both are created with Power Query. So accessing different uh, types of data, uh, doing the mashups of data from different sources together, uh, merging data together, combining files, um, all that good stuff that you can do in Power Query is available in both a data set or a data flow. And once I have my data pulled in, I can create custom columns or measures using DAX, and I can do that in both cases. Both data flows and data sets can be refreshed on a scheduled basis, so they have that in common. And either one can be used as a data source from Power BI Desktop. So if I want to create a report, I can connect among other things, I can connect to an existing Power BI data set or a Power BI data flow. So of course they have a lot in common. But I want to talk about a couple things where they, they start to, to separate and where there are some differences. So the first would be uh, if, if I'm talking about a case where I'm working in an existing Power BI report where maybe I've pulled in some data from, from certain sources and I want to try to connect to a Power BI data set as I'm showing this screenshot here, you'll see that I don't have that option. and I, I can only use a Power BI data set if that's the only data in my report. And so that's one difference here that we'll start to see. Uh, and from the screenshot you'll see here, if I have an existing report that I'm working in and I try to connect to a Power BI data set, it immediately throws up this window saying that that's just not allowed, you, you, you can't do that. And so that's one big difference between when uh, to consider using Power BI data sets versus data flows. With an existing report where I've got some data already pulled in, I can still connect to a Power BI data flow. So that's one big difference. Now another difference between them is if I connect to a Power BI data set on a brand new report, I getting all of the data and all of the entities in that set. Whereas with a data flow, whether it's a new report or an existing report, I can choose individual entities in that data flow. I don't have to connect to the entire set. So as you can see from this screenshot here, if I browse to my data flow, I'm given the choice to, to pick and choose individual entities from that data flow to bring into my Power BI desktop model. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility there. So a couple possible use cases for when you might want to use data flows. Uh, a couple that we've seen maybe are um, if you've got some business users that have done some curation of master data, for example, and maybe they've used Power BI to do that, they can kind of they can convert that that work to a data flow and create a series of master data entities that can then be integrated into your report. That'd be one use case for that, um, and those. Not, not just uh, master data, but any other type of business logic that might be other, applied to other data sets. So if you've got a business user that's created a data set with a lot of logic, a lot of calculations, a lot of uh, domain specific um, knowledge baked in, they can make those data sets available kind of as um, add-ons to, to maybe some existing reports. So those are just a couple of use cases for where a, a data flow would be uh, handy versus building a complete data set and making that available for reporting. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about Power BI or data warehousing and BI in Azure, please reach out, let us know. Thank you.